What's up? Welcome to DFI Got Tips, tips, tricks, and or tutorials. And today, we've got a quick fire one for beginners. Don't know why I just did a gun sound. It's highly unnecessary and irrelevant, and we'll not do that again. But we're looking at the third button in the extrusion command. There's a third button? Yes, there is. Well, what I've got here, what I've got here is a sketch profile of a Alert Pentagon and a ball, right? Which I was going to show you me drawing them or modeling them. And then I thought, you don't really need to see that. It's got nothing to do with what I'm about to do. So I thought I'll just skip and jump straight to here. So we've got the extrude command. Now, in the extrude command, you're probably, I would suspect, because it's the first button on the ribbon bar, it's the first thing you click when you're fumbling around for the first time trying to figure out how to use this damn thing. You've got the first two buttons, which are join and cut. So when you've got a sketch profile and you hit extrude, join by default activates, and then it just creates material. So it'll take the profile that you've got, it'll extrude it up, and it will create material or join that profile with something else uh, like that. That's why it's called join. And the, third, the second button is cut. And obviously, you'll have probably used this before, but when you move that profile through to the solid, it will cut a hole based on the profile that you're extruding like that. The third button is intersect. Now, what this does is when you select intersect, where's my ball gone? Where's my ball gone? Well, what happens is when you move this profile through the solid, wherever the two intersect, it will leave you with material. So it's the two profiles intersecting, the solid mass intersecting the profile, and then it leaves you with that. Any material outside of that sketch profile is just completely disregarded and gone. So you kind of end up with that. Whee! And it looks quite good. So what's the point? Well, what you can do as well, if, if you can either just move the profile through manually. You can stop it halfway if you want to. So you get like a termination in the middle of the mass, or you can just move it all the way through. Or you can just do through all. That'll do the job as well. But yeah, you can get quite creative with this. It's quite good for product designers. So you can just model up a bizarre lump of mass, a weird shaped thing, and then draw a sketch profile and intersect the two. And then you can get, like I say, you can get quite creative with it. But that's what it does. That's intersect. And that's the third button in the extrusion command. So hopefully that was useful for somebody. If it was, please press like. If it wasn't, please let me know why. Possibly because you already knew what it was. Well, then if that's the case, I did say it was a beginner's tip. Uh, but comment, subscribe, and all that kind of stuff. All right, then. Cheers. Bye.